Hello people, today we are going to cover vitamins and it is a topic which is considered a mixed up topic by the various medical students because of its um, inability to retain. But today um, we will be covering it with various tricks which we can use to memorize all of these vitamins, its classification and its various functions and its deficiency diseases. So if you go through this video to at the end, until the end, I can guarantee you that you will uh, memorize everything about the vitamins. So first starting uh, is the classification, how you classify the vitamins. So mainly we have vitamins, is we can classify it as non-B vitamins and B vitamins. <coughs> now the non-B vitamins includes caked, C A vitamin C, A, K, E, D. So caked and B vitamins include 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7 and 9 and 12. So these are B, vitamin, B vitamins. Every one of these has name which we will cover in the next slide but just remember that vitamins we, that vitamins that we have are non b vitamins which are caked and b vitamins which are 1 2 3 5 6 7 9 12 okay now here you have vitamin c and vitamin b now the two extreme vitamins you can see vitamin b here and c here so these are your water soluble vitamins whereas the vitamin a k e and d so these are your fat soluble vitamins so at the extremes you have water soluble vitamins and in the middle you have the uh, fat soluble vitamins again the vitamins divided into the non b and b vitamins non b is your caked and b vitamins are 1 2 3 5 6 7 and 9 12 now each of each of these b vitamins has a separate name now don't bang your her, don't bang your head. Uh, there is a mnemonic, an easy mnemonic for that to remember the name of each of these vitamins, and that is then Ronaldo, nickname Penaldo, played ball for Chester. You do know the Ronaldo, the star player that is currently playing for Juventus, but he played for Manchester in the start. So you can remember by the mnemonic that then Ronaldo, nickname Penaldo, played ball for Chester. So here, vitamin B1. So you can remember it by the thiamine then. So that's thiamine. Vitamin 2 is riboflavin. Vitamin 2 is ribo uh, vitamin B12. B2 is riboflavin. B3 is your niacin. Vitamin B5 is your pentathenic, pentathenic acid. Vitamin B6 is your pyridoxin. Vitamin B7 is your biotin. Vitamin B9 is your folic acid and vitamin b12 is your cobalamin so this this mnemonic can be used for the names of all of these vitamins now we will be covering the functions and then the deficiency of each of these vitamins and a trick to memorize it now your easy way to apply it is we will apply this vitamin on this our human body so you will just think about your own body and you will remember all of its function but here we will be going in a sequence like abc and dick sorry about that but just remember it that way we will be starting with a b c then d and e and k so we'll be going in that direction first of all the functions of vitamin a so you just remember at the first starting from the top we will start from the top and go down the bottom so we'll be covering first at the top you have vitamin a and what you see you have here so it is uh, hel it helps in the growth not just here but it helps in the growth of the brain as well as body various bodily uh, functions so vitamin a is essential for growth second you see eyes so it is essential for vision third thing is you can see your nasal epithelium so it helps in maintenance of normal epithelium not nasal epithelium but just it helps you maintain the normal epithelium all over the body and you will see that once the normal epithelium once in the deficiency of the vitamin a the, uh, the normal epithelium can be maintained so you get acne vulgaris so you get acne over the face so that is your vitamin a that's it helps you maintenance of the normal epithelium and it also helps you in the resistance uh, to the bacterial infection so that you can remember from the top so yeah you just remember f growth then you remember vision then you remember the normal epithelium and then you know, along with the epithelium you can remember that it is resistant to the uh, bacterial infections now what will its deficiency causes now its deficiency will cause retardation of the growth as I have told you and the de degeneration of the myelin I have told you that it is not just essential for the 
growth of the body but also for the growth of the mind so if it is lost if there is deficiency of vitamin a it will lead to de degeneration of myelin now the vision i said the vitamin a is essential for vision so if you don't have vitamin a you will get your diseases of vision so say for example you will have night blindness xerophthalmia and keratomalacia now we said that it's helpful in the maintenance of normal epithelium so once you don't have it you will get acne vulgaris and various skin uh, lesion and other lesion that are uh, associated with the epithelium the next thing is since it is essential for the it is um, uh, resistant to the bacterial infection so once you don't have it so as a result you will get repeated infection so this all can be remembered from the top of your body now moving down the next vitamin should be vitamin b but vitamin b you know there are uh, there are lots of uh, b1 2 3 and that stuff so we will be covering that at the end for now let's go to the vitamin c now vitamin c now come a little bit down from the vitamin a and in this central area you will have vitamin c so below the vitamin a so now you are in this area in the central area what happens that you can see your mouth so it helps you in the healing of wound and if you don't have it you will get scurvy dental caries scurvy is actually bleeding from the gums so you will have bleeding from the gums you will have dental caries hemorrhage of the skin capillaries delayed wound healing so you can remember it from the scurvy from the mouth that it if the vitamin c is deficient you will get scurvy you will get bleeding from the gums so it helps you in the maintenance and the healing of the wound second thing you come here and here you have thyroid gland uh, here you have thyroid and parathyroid so parathyroid helps you in the um, calcium metabolism so here you can remember that the vitamin c also helps you in the metabolism of the calcium from this region then you come a little bit down and you have bone marrow so here you can remember it memorize it that it helps you promote it helps you in the promotion and maturation of the rbcs and wbcs and once uh, once you have a deficiency of it so you will get the anemia and loss of appetite so that's about the vitamin c now coming to the vitamin d coming a little bit downward and you know what d stand for that starts with the d and end, uh, ends with a k so it helps you in the calcification you know the calcification and then bone and teeth so you remember the word d you remember the place you know the thing and it helps you in the calcification of the bone and teeth you can memorize that and its deficiency will cause rickets in children and osteomalacia in adults those these are the bone uh, and bony disorders in the rickets you have uh, don't have enough calcium in your bones as a result what happens that the organic matter that the bone has is sort of bends out so you have those mm, the bended uh, various bended bones and it is found in the children similarly osteomalacia in adults so those are the uh, those are uh, your keywords to memorize now moving a little bit downward in females you know the males a little bit upward and female a little bit downward so a yeah, vitamin e so it is necessary for pregnancy okay so you can memorize it from there and if it is deficient so what will happen abortion and sterility okay let's a brief overview we started with vitamin a from the top then we go to uh, went to the vitamin c then vitamin d and vitamin e so that's all of them now let's talk about the vitamin k the next one vitamin k helps you you can go further down and you can see uh, the knee you come to the knee and it sort of if you, if you bend it in this way so it makes kind of k and the knee is often injured while playing you know that so uh, it helps in the coagulation of the blood you can remember from k that is coagulation so it helps in the coagulation of the blood and its deficiency will cause delayed coagulation and profuse bleeding on, on the minute injury so that's vitamin k so now we have covered the non non b vitamin so vitamin a we started from vitamin a then vitamin c then we get to the vitamin d then vitamin e and then we move down to the vitamin k so we have covered all of these now let's move to the vitamin b now vitamin b since these are vitamin b1 2 3 then 5 6 7 and 9 and 12 so we will be covering them again by starting from top and moving down the body 
first of all vitamin b1 is thiamine now it helps in the carbohydrate metabolism and you can memorize it by that you know that you have a brain and brain uses uh, glucose only and only mainly glucose for its metabolism and that's carbohydrate so b1 helps you in the metabolism of the carbohydrates and it is mainly used as a thiamine pyrophosphate now its deficiency what will its deficiency cause so your carbohydrate metabolism will be defected and that will lead to the pyruvate accumulation which you know that uh, it is an essential step in the uh, production of energy so that's the pyruvate will accumulate because the carbohydrate metabolism is defective and the next thing is that the brain will go crazy and it will cause very very alporinuritis which is which causes vomiting seizures there will be muscle weakness loss of muscle functions in legs and, and mental confusion so again all related to the uh, this area the brain just remember it memorize it from there the next thing is riboflavin again coming down a little bit down now here you can see the nose now you know the nose is the nose is connected to various different parts it's there to the pharynx then uh, it is connected with the mouth as well and downward with the with the larynx and everything so since the nose is forming various parts similarly the riboflavin is a part of several different enzyme system now this several different enzyme system once they are defected what will happen that you will get lips crack at the corner of the mouth you will get soreness or cracks of the mouth and you will get redness of the eyes again related to this area so that's your riboflavin vitamin b2 next thing is vitamin b3 which is niacin niacin helps you uh, uh, helps in good health of it if you remember it just from start from the so here from the front and go behind so you see first of all you will have skin then you will have the esophagus and then you will posteriorly you can remember that there is a nervous system now it helps in the good health of your skin digestion and nervous system and once it is deficient you will get pellagra which is diarrhea which is actually dermatitis diarrhea and dementia so these three system will be affected so remember it from here now the next one is vitamin b5 which is pentothenic acid again we are coming down here you can find your stomach here so it helps you in the synthesis and metabolism of the protein carbohydrates and fat so everything is just kind of mm, churning down into this in the stomach so you can memorize it that it helps you in synthesis and and uh, and the metabolize uh, metabolism of the not synthesis but just uh, in the metabolism of the protein carbohydrates and fats and it helps you in the synthesis of the coenzyme a now what will its deficiency cause first of all fatigue again if you don't metabolize this stuff you won't get energy next thing is if you don't have energy you will be uh, you will have insomnia you will have depression irritability vomiting stomach pains burning feet and upper respiratory respiratory infection so all of these are associated with vitamin b5 the pantothenic acid then now the next one vitamin b6 which is pyridoxine again coming a little bit downward where you have intestine now it's a coenzyme which is uh, essentially in the metabolism of the amino acid you know the amino acids are kind of now uh, are absorbed in the intestine so you can remember it from there that it is essentially in the coenzyme in the metabolism of the amino acid and the coenzyme uh, that it is used is that that is called as pyridoxine phosphate now its deficiency diseases what will it cause it will cause the signs of low muscular body since amino acids are essential part of the uh, muscle so once the muscles uh, the uh, they won't be formed so as a result you will have signs of low muscular body say for example you have nervousness you will have irritability weakness and difficulty in walking you will have convulsive seizures in infants and burning feet syndrome so that's all related to the vitamin b6 that is pyridoxine now moving a little bit downward there is your biotin now the biotin you know hairs here now it strengthens hairs and nail and produce glowing skin and involved involved in a lot of metabolic processes so you can all relate it to this area and i'm not going to explain that but if this is deficient you will get thinning of hairs progressive loss of hairs across the body so 
loss of hairs you will get scaly red rash around the body but uh, around the body openings so you can get red rash around the body openings including the eyes nose mouth and anus so i hope you kind of understand this the next thing is vitamin b12 which is cobalamin now it helps here you can see the bone marrow in uh, somehow here you can remember it in the femur now it helps in the hematopoiesis and nucleic acid synthesis and its deficiency will cause improper hematopoiesis which will lead to the megaloblastic anemia and pernicious anemia so you can memorize it a kind of there so we have done all the vitamin b enzymes we have started from the top from the thiamine b1 then we went down to the riboflavin then the b3 the niacin then again b5 pantothenic acid then b6 is pyridoxine then we went to the b7 which is biotin then b12 which is cobalamin and i guess we have left vitamin b9 okay sorry for that thank you and do subscribe our channel